Yo, what is up guys? It is Great Zage, and I'm here for What If Naruto Had Katakuri's Powers. Now this is a new what if. I decided to go ahead and do the, you know, Naruto series and Katakuri because one, Katakuri is one of, if not one of the best characters in One Piece. Uh, I don't really care if y'all think I'm wrong or not because I'm into him right now. I He's just one of my favorite characters. I wish we could have seen more of him, but still. Another thing, uh... Naruto will have the Conqueror's hockey that Katakuri has, his observation hockey, his armament, and he will also have the power of Mochi. Of Mochi. And pretty much, uh, yeah. By the way, the thing about Mochi, I wasn't really sure about it. I had to search it up. And Mochi is uh, a, a, apparently like a, some sort of sweet. Um, so, yeah, if you guys don't know what Mochi is, it's some sort of uh, Japanese sweet or something. I don't really know. But it's it just it's just some sort of sweet sweet candy or something. So yeah, that's mochi. And pretty much uh, yeah. Uh, hope you guys do enjoy the what if. And pretty much let's get started and enjoy yourselves. So yeah, let's get started. She 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 gripping that dick like she was a lost. She party at night like she was a rock star. She singing my song like be like it. She calling me daddy but let her fall out. Little bit of thirsty like big as some water. Could give you the world with the wave of a wand. We feel the eye, bitch. Come on, Wanda. All right, guys, let's begin. So we start off this what if with, of course, Naruto, who's now currently uh who's now currently engaged in battle against his so-called rival, Sasuke Uchiha, the last of the Uchiha clan, as well as an Uchiha prodigy. Now, it was currently, now they were currently a week away from graduation when Iruka suggested that Taijutsu spar, and Naruto being Naruto would instantly ask for a spar against Sasuke Uchiha, who was no doubt the strongest of their class. Even instantly, he was already getting ridiculed and beginning to be raided, Due to the fact that he was even thinking of challenging the Uchiha after getting put down so many times, but also was just stuck. I mean, Naruto was just stubborn and he didn't give up. Naruto would go ahead and be facing Sasuke, getting beaten up. Sasuke would go ahead, block and deflect all his attacks while going ahead and plumbing him down with his very own. This in turn causes Naruto to begin to grit his teeth in anger, all the way to the point where he begins to go ahead and charge at Sasuke, his attacks becoming more fiercer and him trying to adapt to it. Iruka, who was watching this, can do nothing but sigh, considering the fact that uh, no matter how long that Naruto was in the academy, his taijutsu style was just nothing but a bunch of randoms put together. He had terrible taijutsu, horrible knowledge, and the fact that this kid, the fact that he, you know, he was the dead last of the class, just put everything together at that. He was the worst of the worst. And Sasuke over here, he already knew his his clan's fighting style, although not perfect. He was still, he still like knew how to use it properly, even without the Sharingan. At this, everyone in the class was cheering while most of the fangirls began to cheer for Sasuke as Sasuke would go ahead and grab one of Naruto's punches that was being directed towards his face as he go ahead and flip Naruto over, making him slam into the ground on his back. <laughs> Dang it, said Naruto, who's now currently on the ground. He was he was in so much pain that he was in so much pain that he was shocked. That like right now he couldn't even move. Well, I guess this is official. Sasuke Uchiha is the winner, said Yuruka. At this, everyone in the class began to cheer for Sasuke, while all the girls began to fangirl over him. With Ino, with Ino, with Ino Yamanaka and Sakura Haruno being the biggest of the fangirls, you know, already there fighting the most for him. Naruto would now be, you know have gotten up as he was still on his you know hands and knees as he looks at the ground as he then thinks damn it i lost again to him no come on i i i, I, I thought i got stronger I, I trained every single day however someone in the fangirls would then stop and go walk up to naruto at this everyone in the class you know who was watching this you know were actually quiet considering the fact this was one of the biggest sasuke fangirls sakura haruno Sasuke, Naruto's apparent crush and so-called love interest that he has a big crush on Sakura. At this, Naruto would turn his head to the side, actually looking up to see Sakura, the girl of his dreams, standing in front of him. And at first, he thinks that this that Sakura was going to go ahead, you know, try to comfort him of, due to his devastating loss. However, 
Well, however, all his hopes were then shattered in an instant. A slap. That was heard across the entire area. A large, a loud, a loud clap was heard from the area, as all of them would then turn to where it came from. Even all the Sasuke fangirls stopped fighting over Sasuke to actually look what happened. Naruto was now facing the ground again, and this time his left cheek stung. Sakura Haruno had just slapped him. The girl that he loved, the girl that he would practically do anything for, slapped him. Naruto Baka, how dare you try to hurt Sasuke-kun? You would never in a million years be better than Sasuke-kun. You should quit being a ninja. You have no right to be it, a ninja. You're a failure and a dead last. And with those harsh words, Sakura would go walk off back to her Sasuke. Now, everyone in the class that was watching this began to laugh, began to, you know, laugh at this. However, you know, most of them, most, some of them began to stop, considering the fact they actually saw the look on Naruto's face. Naruto was now in tears, staring at the ground as tears began to fall out of his eyes. Iruka, who watched this, was also a little bit upset. He went, he was about to go ahead and, you know, discipline, discipline Sakura. However, in an instant, Naruto just vanished. Like, began, not even vanished, he began to go in a full run, trying to get out of there. He did not want to be seen, as multiple tears began to fall out of his eyes. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Why? Why is everyone so mean to me? I didn't do anything. Why Sakura? Naruto, it was no joke to anyone. It was not even a lie. Everyone knew that Naruto had a crush on Sakura. So a crush that practically sort of made him look creepy sometimes. But still, it was a crush nonetheless. And, get, and, get, and to get put down like that was, you know, didn't matter who you were. Even if you were Naruto... Like, damn, that is just messed up. A certain few of them felt bad for the blonde, considering the fact that he worked so hard. And some of them, some of them just felt pity for him, thinking like, jeez, I felt, I wish that kid just got a break. But most of them were just laughing. Some of them were even laughing even harder due to the fact that he was crying. Some calling him weak, saying that he got, that he's crying over getting slapped by a girl and stuff like that. Sasuke didn't really pay any mind, however, he did shot an annoyed glare at Sakura, only for a split second, considering the fact, like, even he knew when that was going too far, and he knew that Sakura went, a, went way too far with that. However, he decided to shrug it off, it was not his problem, so he goes back to it. <sighs> Alright everyone, back in class, Ruka would say, as he goes ahead and turns toward the direction where Naruto went, and he can only do nothing but give a sad look to where he went. <sighs> I have to make it up to him, die Ruka. As he will begin to tell everyone in the class to go off. However, another tuning that was there watching the entire thing could not do nothing but just smile. Seeing the so-called demon brat begin to feel pain, whether it be mentally or physically. But this time he got both. And that just brought him pleasure. Not that type of pleasure, but just pleasure nonetheless. <sighs> I'm so glad that demon brat got what he deserved. At this, the the tuning known as Mizuki would go ahead and walk with everyone else back into the classroom. Now with Naruto. He was currently punching a tree over and over again as hard as he can. Tears falling from his eyes and he punches harder and harder. Damn Sasuke. Damn that academy. Damn it. Damn that dumb Mizuki sensei. Damn Sakura. At this, as seeing Sakura's name, she would, he would then remember the time he would remember Sakura slapping him over and over again in his mind, all the cruel words that she said, as she would punch the tree harder and harder to the point where his knuckles began to get bloody. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Why? Naruto was as he goes ahead and sits down on a log. Why? Why can they? Why can they just freaking leave me alone? Dude, why does she have to say all that stuff? Damn it. Am I, what was I even thinking chasing after her? Of course she would. Of course, what was I expecting from a diehard Sasuke fangirl? She's nothing. She. She's the worst. At this, multiple dark thoughts begin to enter Naruto's mind. Harry instantly cut them off, thing, thinking that those were just way too serious and intense for him that he didn't want to think about it. At this, he goes back to punching it, even though it wounded him a little bit. You know, considering the fact that his knuckles were all bloody and everything, he didn't care. He just needed to release all his anger. He continued punching the tree until finally, he saw. Until finally, he actually was able. He was actually able to punch the tree all the way till it fell down. You see, I'm strong enough to knock on it over an entire tree just by a few punches. 
Saucy couldn't do that. No, because the only thing he could do is dodge. Well, well, I guess that's one way of fighting, but still. So he just couldn't, just hated it. Sasuke got everything. He didn't get anything at all. Sure, he got, sure, he, sure, like, he had to, no, no, he had some things, but still. Sasuke got everything handed to him while he had to work hard for it. Sasuke got everyone's attention, even Sakura's. And he got no one's. The only few people that even pay attention to him are too busy to even be with him most of the time. At this, uh, at this, Naruto would then turn to another tree as he glares at it. Damn you. Damn you! He will say as he goes ahead and punches, he goes ahead and tries to, you know, punch the tree. However, he would get, he would then realize that it was actually a very far distance away. Wait, what? He would then say. However, in an instant, his hand would go ahead and extend. As his hand would actually extend due to a white, a white substance that seemed to, you know, be attached to his to the, that seem to allow you know both his arms to be attached as the arm of his extends all the way punching the tree as he goes ahead and returns back to him Wh what just happened he would ask as he goes ahead and you know was weirded out until he goes ahead and tries doing it again getting the same effect as last time what the heck is this he would ask he goes ahead and looks at his arm and he would wonder what the heck was going on so he goes ahead and tries doing it a couple more times. Once again, his arms began to extend and return back, only allowing them to be connected by this white, white gooey substance. What the heck is this stuff? Uh, so what, um, again, I'm sorry. I continue thinking about, you know, I continue saying Asta by accident. So sorry. I was doing, you know, Asta with us and everything. So sorry. Whatever, back to it. Naruto would just be wondering about this stuff until finally he goes ahead and looks at a tree at a very far distance away. At this, he looks at that tree and for some reason it seemed like it was getting closer and closer to him. Either that or he can just see it better. But to him right now, it was almost as if the tree was right in front of him. Now, seeing the tree right, in, you know, seeing the tree a pretty good distance away now currently in front of him, he will go ahead and take in a deep breath, pulling his fist back. As he would go ahead and throws a punch all the way to the tree. Now, little did he know he was also using armament hockey at this moment. As the go as the fist of his would begin to extend, as it goes ahead and lays contact to the tree, completely destroying it, knocking off its knocking off its stump, allowing it to fall down. This would have completely shocked Naruto. I'm so strong. But how did I lose the Sasuke? <laughs> At this, he would go ahead and try to remember the fight all the way to the very last detail. And he remembered that most of the time, Sasuke went ahead and was just, just did everything, everything that he did, but better. No. He, all he did was literally just dodge, avoid his attack, and heck, he didn't even know who hit harder. But right now, he just didn't care. Right now, he wanted to know how exactly, how exactly did Sasuke fight. And when, when, he, when he sees all the memories, he can obviously tell that most of the time Sasuke were to dodge his attacks as if they were nothing or just deflect them. So dodging and deflecting, huh? Well, I'll show you, said Naruto, as he goes ahead and begins to run into the forest to begin this training and begin to use his weird ability. Now, we're going to be doing a time skip to three days. Now, Naruto has not been in the academy for three whole days, and some people began to actually, you know, feel bad for the guy. I mean, it's not, it's not like, it's not like, you know, once in a while where you go ahead, get completely berated by your own crush, and go, end up seeing her going off with another guy. This, that just made things, like, terrible for him. And so, some of that, so most of the class actually felt bad for Naruto, while some of the few just thought, like, you know, he just deserved it. Because though some of them, you know, believed in their parents' philosophy and thought that he was just a bad kid. Now at this, everyone in the class would now be sitting down with Aruka walking into a classroom with a sad expression, not seeing Naruto in the seat. <sighs> All right, guys, time for roll call. At this, everyone, you know, began to say their names with Sasuke saying here and multiple others going on. However, as soon as he calls... As, however, as soon as he was about to call a name, someone already said here. At this, Iruka looks at this kid as if, you know, why the heck is he saying here? However, he goes ahead and just say, 
Naruto Uzumaki. Silence was made. I see. So Naruto Uzumaki will be marked absent. I said I was here, said the voice. At this, everyone in the class just stops what they're doing and turns to the voice. And to their complete shock, it was the one that they would call the most knuckle-headed, stubborn ninja to have ever existed. It was Naruto. However, he looked different. In fact, he looked way different. Even Aruka was shocked. One thing's first, he had a scarf that covered his neck. That looked like a really long scarf, in fact. It was. It had the colors of white and black. Sort of the same thing how Katakuri wears. He has like the same fit. But also, he has a... He also has a jacket that goes ahead and, you know, it goes ahead and covers everything from his back. However, he leaves his chest exposed, which makes some of the female students actually blush, considering the fact that he was way more muscular than they actually thought. Another thing, he wore he wore long pants with, a, with some shinobi sandals. And another thing they also realized that behind his back, there was this large staff, spear, whatever it was, he had it behind his back. At this, Iruka would just gulp. Naruto? Is, is that you? Iruka would ask. Hello, Iruka-sensei. Glad to see you. Sorry I've been away for a while. I just had to... Uh, consider things. At this, Iruka just, you know, nod, thinking that he needs to talk to this kid after this. However, just before he was about to announce something, one student ends up interrupting this. Naruto, is that you? said a voice at this everyone then turned to the one and only the biggest gossip of the entire hidden leaf village ino yamanaka this woman was known for gossip and she was one to go ahead and didn't care whatever was on her mind she would say it out loud <sighs> hello miss yamanaka naruto would say at this everyone actually began to shudder at it his voice it wasn't as you know it didn't sound all you know like like a freaking like auto tune gone wrong or something. Like it sounded as if it was just you know much more calmer and much more more smooth. At this, even you even Ina was actually taken aback by this, considering the fact that one Naruto spoke to her a bit coldly and two, he 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 just called her by he just called her by her her last name. Well, um, you could you know you could just call me Ino, but seriously, Naruto, what happened to you? However, just before Naruto was about to go ahead and explain, a, a, an annoying bachi began to speak. Naruto Baka, are you trying to call, are you trying to become as cool as Sasuke again? I thought I told you you would never ever be in a million years," said Sakura. At this, Naruto did not even bat an eye to her as he goes ahead and speaks. "I wasn't talking to you, Haruno. So why don't you shut up and do everyone a favor and close that big mouth of yours?" At this. Everyone was just shocked. Never in a million years have anyone thought that Naruto would actually speak up and actually talk back to Sakura like this. Not to you Sakura fans, I'm sorry, but like Sakura before Shippuden was just annoying, okay? I'm sorry. But still, she was just annoying to me. And yeah. But don't, but yeah, let me continue on. Sakura was shocked as she was going to go ahead and walk over to Naruto to give him a piece of her mind. However, Iruka went ahead and stepped in using his big head no jutsu. That's enough, everyone. Shut up already. Now sit back in your seats. At this, everyone does so as Iruka would go ahead and turn to Naruto. Well, Naruto, I'm glad to see you back in the class. So can we just continue on with this? At this, everyone would just nod. By the way, just to let you guys know, it was finally the day of graduation when this happened. So, um, yeah. Now, Naruto was just there as Iruka would go ahead and call up on Naruto for him to go ahead and do the, the three jutsus. One of them was just the substitution jutsu. Naruto nailed it easily. Next was, next was the, you know, the, shoot, I'm sorry. <laughs> The, the transformation jutsu, which Naruto once again nails easily, and finally the clone jutsu. At this, Iruka was actually kind of nervous that Naruto was gonna fail. However, to his utter shock, Naruto didn't. At this, Naruto will go ahead and raise up one hand sign, shocking most people in the class until Haruno begins to speak up. Huh, you really think that using one hand sign is gonna do anything? You baka. That's not how it works. However, she will stop mid sentence and suddenly. A white, a, a white and gooey substance would then shoot out of Naruto as it goes ahead and makes a sort of, it makes a merge into some sort of solidified form of him. 
until finally an illusion begins to erupt around him, showing a actual Naruto clone. What? Was what is was what your Iruka shouted? He couldn't believe it. He made a clone, but it wasn't the illusion clone. It was another clone. Was it Shadow Clone? No, Shadow Clone doesn't do stuff like this. What the heck is this? Naruto would look at the clone. As the clone would look at Naruto, both of them would then shake hands. At this, the clone would go ahead and once again, you know, poof, or not actually poof, but actually just you know disperse. Once again, turning back into the gooey substance and getting absorbed by Naruto. Uh, okay, although you didn't do the clone jutsu that's really necessary, you still did a clone jutsu, and that is very passable. So, you, here you go. At this, Naruto would see the headband, and, you know, not going ahead and doing anything, he goes ahead and picks up, the, you know, the one that was on the desk, and he puts it around his waist, sort of like a belt. Considering the fact, you know, he doesn't really want to put it on his forehead, I just personally don't want to put it on his forehead. To me, he just looks dumb with it. So, yeah. So after this, everyone else went continuing on, with Sasuke once again gaining Rookie of the Year, and Naruto actually just gaining average. Although he was a lot stronger, he wasn't one to go ahead and just, you know, begin to flex on everyone. Alright? To be honest, he just wanted to continue on and just get this done as fast as he can. Alright, everyone. I'm very proud that I'm very proud of all of you. Now, for those who have headbands and now here, you have all graduated the academy. Now, I want you all to, co to come here early tomorrow so that way you guys can get your teams. At this, everyone just nodded and, you know, complete happiness as he goes ahead and dismiss dismisses them. At this, Naruto would go ahead and get up, being the first one out, as he goes ahead and walks to the door, not even batting an eye to everyone who was just looking at him. As everyone in the class began to, you know, whisper about Naruto, most of the, most of the girls were just blushing at him, be considering the fact that they were mostly focusing on his muscles, due to the fact that Naruto was already ripped, alright? He was ripped for his age. However, a particular, a particular, you know, a puck, bro, I cannot talk today, bro, I'm sorry. Alright, a peculiar pink-haired girl was just glaring at Naruto, thinking that he was just trying to become as cool as Sasuke and trying to gain her attention, thinking that that wouldn't work. However, for, um, however, for Eno, she had a different thought, however. As she went and she saw Naruto, she just blushed, considering the fact that she just, you know, couldn't believe it. This is Naruto? But he looks so, so handsome and cool. She couldn't believe her thoughts. Was she falling in, falling in love with Naruto of all people? Mm, okay. Naruto would walk out as all the kids would go ahead and go to their parents with Naruto not batting an eye. Most of them would shoot him a dirty glare. However, he would not go ahead and do anything to them considering the fact that one, they're not even worth his attention. He would go off into the forest to train how to train. Now, time skip. A told now we're gonna do a time skip to a couple of minutes. Naruto would be in the forest completely training. However, he would then be stopped training considering the fact he sensed a presence. I know you're there. At this, a ninja would then just you know come out of the forest, revealing it to be Mizuki. At this, Naruto would then look at him as he could already sense the negative emotion just coming off of this man. He must really think I'm stupid, said, Nar said Naruto inside his mind. Ah, hello Naruto. I see that you're doing some training here, he would say, looking at the blonde. However, Naruto could see right through him. He, Naruto, now Naruto would actually have come almost, Naruto would actually have, you know, a unique version of the, you know, the observation hockey. It was at, fir at first he wasn't, you know, really used to it. However, eventually after the three days passed, he eventually became, you know, in tune with it and was able to go ahead and able to see the future. So, yeah, he was actually, you know, able to tell what Mizuki's goal was. He was able to tell the next future of events that Mizuki was trying to transpire against him. Ah, I see. So you want me to go ahead and steal the scroll ceiling so you can take it to... Orochimaru. At this, Mizuki was just shocked as he was frozen in place. What? How could he? All right, then, you demon. If that's how you want to play it, fine by me, thought Mizuki. As at, as a, as soon as the moment noticed, he goes ahead and pulls out a few shuriken, sending them towards Naruto. 
Now, unknown to Mizuki, Naruto is not a normal person. I mean, shoot, it's not every day that... Like, he doesn't even need to dodge this. But, to be honest, he has multiple ways of dispatching these small, slow, thrown kuna, uh, shurikens. So, he goes ahead and does the one thing that he's gonna do to, well, shock Mizuki. Naruto's entire body would then turn into this white gooey substance known as mochi. As he goes ahead and swiftly dodges it, sort of similar to how a certain snake Sonin dodges. At this, this will completely shock Mizuki as Naruto's body will once again reform back to normal. Is that all? Naruto would ask, his hands in his pockets now. Mizuki was just shocked. What? How did you do that? Has Mizuki. You wouldn't. Uh, however, before he even got a chance, before he even answered though, you know, before he even got the chance to ask the question, however, he was already dead. You won't be alive to tell. You won't be alive to to ask that question. Said Naruto. He, Naruto already knew the question that Mizuki was gonna ask, and so he wasn't even gonna waste even a second. You know, he was not gonna waste even a single second allowing him to live. So he just ended him there. His arm now, his hand now, his. He's, you know, he's right now holding his spear, the one that, you know, Katakuri actually had in canon. He actually had to go ahead and do a lot of, you know, transformation due to in order to craft this weapon of his. However, it was all worth it to finally get a weapon as powerful as this one, able to deal with his power. At this, he'll go ahead and retract his hand as it was still made, it was, as it goes ahead and returns back to his normal position. And the mochi that was the mochi that was you know wrapped around the spear would go ahead and you know return back to Naruto. Naruto will place the spear behind his back as he then looks at the you know con the unconscious or should I say dead body of Mizuki. <sighs> Come on out, old man," said Naruto with a with a nonchalant voice. At this, the third Hokage, Harus and Saratobi, would then fall out of the tree or just land down. Naruto, I'm glad, I'm glad to see that you're okay. I I couldn't help but just you know been walking by and I saw you, I saw you training and then I saw Mizuki. <laughs> the Harusen tried desperately to try to find a way to describe the solution of why he didn't even help. However, Naruto just told him to hold his breath. You are observing. I know it's something that you Hokages do best: sit around all day and observe until an actual big problem shows up. At this, Haruzen actually felt a pain in his heart from that. At this was obviously a blow directly towards him. When, heck, not even just him, but some of the Hokages. Considering the fact that he was one of those Hokages that just sit by until, you know, something bad happens. Until something, like, really bad happens. For example, oh, let's just say, oh, you see you see one of your shinobi getting jumped by a sound ninja. However, when Orochimaru pulls up and everything, that's when he's going to get into action. So, yeah, he was one of those people. I see. <laughs> well, I I would like to ask about your abilities, Naru. However, he was already gone. What? Daharuzen. He just realized that Naruto was just gone the moment that he the moment that he was just finished with his thoughts. I recommend that you don't really ask about them. Considering the fact that you owe me this, I recommend that you one do not tell anyone about it. Two, two you have to make sure that that Ambu that's been following me never ever tells Donzo. At this, Haruzen's eyes will widen, and suddenly a root or two root ambus that were just in the tree will reveal themselves, trying to get away as fast as they can. However, a white gooey substance, a white gooey, a white gooey substance latch onto them. This was by being Naruto, would then slam them into the ground. Sorry, but I can't have any witnesses here, and so far you all, so far you both are witnesses. And since I know you're going to go ahead and report to Don, so there's no point in me trying to find information on you. At this, Naruto would then, you know, wrap, go ahead and grab his spear, wrapping his his arm that was now made out of mochi to go ahead and do it. As it be, as his, at the spear that was, you know, you know, the tip of the spear begins to go ahead and spin, sort of like a drill. At this, he goes ahead and drills the spear into both of the shinobi's heart, killing them in an instant. At this, Haruzen's eyes will widen. His, his, this kid, his so-called grandson just killed two people like it was, heck, not even two, three people like it was nothing. He, now after finishing the deed, 
Asta. I mean, oh my god, bro. I'm gonna continue getting these two confused. I'm super sorry, but let me continue on. Naruto would go ahead and retract the weapon, putting it back on his back as he stares blankly at Haruzin. So, yeah. Just be careful. So at that, he would go ahead and just walk away, leaving a now dumbfounded Haruzin or just nodding there as he goes ahead and orders some shinobi to take the bodies of the root and to also, you know, take away Mizuki. Little did Naruto know, however, that he was going to go ahead and get paid for an s rank mission. Yep, that's right, because one, he helped in discovering that Mizuki was a little mole rat, and two, he actually was, he actually even found a way to put an end to Donzo himself. Now that they actually got root, now they actually have some of the roots, you know, the root shinobi by their side. Or should I say, the roots bodies full of memories by their side. As he was going to have a Yamanaka, and others began to, you know, try to find out what has Donzo been up to. Next day. Naruto would now be in the academy, changing only a, a few couple of things of his look. Most of them being that one, he has now, he has now, you know, boots instead of the shinobi sandals. Considering the fact that, well, he finds them very un uncomfortable and very unpleasant. Besides, these boots allow him to... Besides, it's much easier to, for him to run in those. As he was now currently sitting down in the academy, now, you know, just, you know, eyes closed and everything, enjoying himself, he would then, you know, have a, a vision of a fist coming co coming close to him. At this, he would go ahead and move his, move his head back, avoiding the fist, causing this person that was trying to hit him on the head to go ahead and fall down to the floor. Or no, I recommend that you stop trying to hit me like you used to. At this, Sakura Harano, who was the person that was trying to hit Naruto, would just glare at him. T flashback. Now, when Naruto arrived at the academy, he was already one of the few that was actually early to it, surprising most people there considering the fact that he usually showed up early. Now, once again, people will once again just take in take in Naruto's appearance as some of them didn't get that much of a good luck last time. However, this time just just dang even Sasuke was actually impressed by the look but only thought that a dope would be a dope doesn't matter how much he changes will always be a dope now Naruto would just been chilling sitting down however until the two biggest fangirls of Sasuke would barge in or you could say one considering the fact that Sakura Haruno and Ino Yamanaka would be there both of them would begin bickering about who gets to sit, sit next to Sasuke what with you know with them you know eventually allowing sakura to sit there considering the fact she would win an argument no matter what she would go ahead and cheer for victory she goes ahead and tries to talk to sasuke and everything with him just ignoring her however ino would actually look at nars who's calmly by the you know by the window seat He's in complete silence and secluded no one actually sat next to him at this she actually goes ahead and walks towards naruto and sits next to him uh hey naruto said ino as she couldn't help but have a tame blush, considering the fact that, like, she instantly went ahead and looked at his chest. Hello, uh, Naruto would say, not even sparing her a glance, which she had to admit. Although she, although it did tick her off that the dead last was ignoring her, this was, she couldn't really be sure if she could call Naruto the dead last anymore. Especially not this man. Considering the fact that she doesn't really consider Naruto some sort of just regular, you know, childish boy now. He he considered her a guy, like a, a real man right there. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what team do you think you're getting? Now, this is where they began to have small talk with Naruto not really answering her, considering the fact that he became much more of a quieter person. Considering the fact that um, they would actually have a couple of days for them to, you know, relax, and Naruto spent most of that time just training with his new abilities, getting more of, the, getting more of a hang with it. And he, even, he was even able to go ahead and learn that he was actually able to, you know, somehow be able to go ahead and make multiple arms, I guess, out of his weird substance, which is called mochi. As well as he's also getting these weird memory of a guy with, you know, pink hair and he was or and he the how he had the, some sort of power. He wasn't really remembering, but all you remember was him. It being a guy with pink hair fighting this little dude who who's you know 
who actually had a lot of respect. Like, he had a lot of respect for it for some reason. However, once the teams were being called, Naruto was stuck on Team Seven, which much to Naruto's you know annoyance. However, he learned how to deal with troublesome people. And, and as for Shiko, as for Eno, she was placed on a team with you know Shikamaru and Choji, which he begins to be upset about it. And in her, as in her mind, she's like, "Why can't I get Sasuke cooed?" However, she would glance at Naruto, who's currently now just eyes closed, relaxing, and she wouldn't think, or Naruto, Kun. Wait, what am I saying? She would try to snap out her, her thoughts, still blushing, and she goes ahead and turns to Naruto, who's not even paying attention to her. Dang it, why did he have to become cool? Dot Eno. As right now, her, her teammates will go ahead and call her to be with them, while, you know, Sasuke and Sakura and all of them just go ahead and just stay there. Now, after time flashes by, most of the teams will already have been picking up, including Eno's team, leaving Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura all alone. Uh, all alone. Flashback end. Now, Naruto was now looking at the downed Sakura, who was now ready to hit him again for dodging her punch. However, Naruto would just once again dodge it before she even got a chance. Like I told you again, Haruno, leave me alone, said Asa. I mean, oh my god, bro. I'm, again, I'm sorry, but still, let me just continue on. Said Naruto, now looking at, now looking at, you know, Sakura, which actually makes her a bit unnerved. What happened to her, to her puppy? The one that she was able to do whatever she wants with. Put him, put him down, make him feel bad. You know, what happened to him? However, as she actually thought of those songs, she begins to actually feel bad. And she just realized what she actually thought of Naruto. However, no. No, 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 no. It's not her fault. It's Naruto for being such a... A, a idiot. A baka. However, she was just snapped out of her thoughts as the door would then slide open, revealing a man with white hair and everything. Now, Naruto already sensing the man that was coming would have already vanished from the classroom however both of them had no idea however a certain Jonin did i see so this is team seven huh kakashi would look around trying to find the other member of team seven i want to be honest he was not there i sense a spiked in chakra though where could he be he would ask hmm all right well you guys meet me up on the roof. At this, Sasuke would go ahead, get up nonchalantly, and walk up to the roof with Sakura already towing behind him. Kakashi, who would have, who would have, you know, body flickered to the roof, would actually be in shock seeing the very student that he was supposed to have already on the roof, sitting all the way at the corner of it, looking at, you know, eyes closed and everything. Glad to see you, Kakashi, said Naruto. At this, Kakashi was actually confused. How does he know his name? I'm sorry. Should I go ahead and call you Inu? Now, this is what causes Kakashi to actually open, uh, you know, make his eyes widen. What? The Inu was actually Kakashi's Anbu name. That was the name that he got considering the fact, you know, he was an Anbu captain and everything. And that was the name that he was given. So for the fact that Naruto actually knew about him actually shocked him considering the fact that he actually was one of those ombuds that looked after naruto uh -huh. ah so you figured it out said kakashi trying to play it off trying to play off his shock yeah it was pretty simple however i did forget to say this i thank you for watching over me when you can i know you couldn't do it forever but still i thank you for it at this kakashi couldn't do nothing but feel a small pain in his heart one of sadness and and one of happiness. One, because he was upset that you know he fi that Naruto figured out that he wasn't always there for him, and two, he you know he was happy that Naruto forgave him. But this also made Kakashi wonder: Does he know about his parents or anything? But he decided to you know let go of that th that thought for now. Now, after a while, the two teammates of Naruto would then burst out in the door. Revealing a, you know, a Sasuke who was actually a little bit shocked to see Naruto there. However, he goes ahead and shrugs it off. However, Sakura was just panting, looking at Naruto with complete shock. What? How did you get here before me and Sasuke-kun? Said Sakura, as if, as if the entire freaking Leaf Village needed to hear it. Haruno, if you will please refrain from raising your voice. Because I'm not going to lie to you, you're giving me a headache. I got here first because I use a... A, ninja, a kenjutsu technique, all right? Now, could you please sit down so we can get over with this intro? Said Naruto calmly. 
At this, Sakura was just shocked that she would do. She was about to go ahead and retort. However, one glance from Kakashi made her shut up, as she goes ahead and sits down quietly, still giving Naruto a silent glare. All right, I want to go ahead and give you, give me your likes, your dislikes, and your goals and dreams. At this, all of them, Naruto already knew what he meant. However, Sakura will be the first one to speak up. Um, Kakashi Sensei, why don't you do it first? At this, Kakashi will go ahead and give her a deadpan expression, thinking, was this really the smartest Konichi? Or whatever. As he goes ahead and explains about himself, how he was Kakashi Hatake, and stuff like that. Naruto, Naruto actually, you know, could already tell a few things from his observation, which Naruto has really improved on. One, Kakashi was a pervert, nonetheless. Naruto remembered that smut that he was re that Kakashi was reading, considering the fact that when he that he remembered when he was back in his prankster years, which he did not like. He remembered back then when he used to make you know get bullied and stuff like that. He would actually read Perverted Magazine to finish that abomination of a jutsu called the Sexy Jutsu, which which he already could tell that most some of, most of his materials actually came from that book. I'm ashamed of myself sometimes. That thought naruto however suddenly he will then you know get some an observation a vision as he goes ahead and speaks all right i before you even ask that before you say it's my turn i'll just go ahead you don't have to waste yourself at this kakashi actually was you know a bit surprised considering the fact he didn't say anything but he decided to let it go all right my name is naruto Zumaki. my likes are hmm, training and I guess you could say Ichiraku Ramen. My dislikes, well, I have quite a few. Uh, my dream. At this, Naruto would try to remember his dream. Did he still want to become Okage? I mean, he had the strength for it. And he was just going to get stronger. It's not as if now becoming a shinobi, he's, he's just going to stop. I guess you could say my dream is become Okage. And my goal. Now this... This was a no-brainer. My goal is to practically end this this hatred that this village has. At this, this has caused Kakashi to actually eye, eyes widen. However, he would then return back with a genuine smile. Just like Sensei, thought Kakashi. However, he will go ahead and give everyone else the intros. With Sakura going ahead and doing the same thing in canon. Her dislikes, you know, just being Naruto and Ino. While Sasuke goes ahead and says that he's just going to go ahead and kill a certain someone. Naruto actually wondered who this someone would be, but decided that he will find it out later, considering the fact he's been going to the you know library a lot, and he's been finding out a lot of things. In fact, that's how he even found out about Kakashi by actually reading a book that actually described described people that were in the the Anbu ranks, and one of them actually made made Naruto remember about a certain time when he was younger, and you know getting you know almost accidentally fell off in a freaking cliff. Yes. And that this guy with a dog mask, you know, actually catched him. This was, that's how he was able to find out who Kakashi was by reading the records of the Anbu. That were actually open to the public of Konoha. Or at least the Shinobi side. Alright, so tomorrow guys we'll be doing a belt test. So I just, so you guys have tomorrow to prepare for it. And everything, wake up early and meet me there. And don't eat, said Kakashi. Naruto would go ahead and catch his little bluff, considering the fact that he went ahead and already knew that Kakashi wasn't really ordering them. It was more of a test, and besides, he was not going to skip breakfast. So with that, Naruto would have gotten up, as well as the other two, as he begins to walk away. Sakura, now seeing the opportunity to ask Sasuke out on a date, would go ahead and turn to him, only to get the harsh declared no. At this, she will go ahead and sigh, turn to Naruto, prepare for him, prepare for him to ask her on a date. However, to her surprise, Naruto just walked off as if it was nothing. He will go ahead, jump off the railing, landing down on the ground, as he was going to go to the forest to train. Considering the fact that he's been trying to find out about this other ability, as he actually had a memory about it, ability where his fists get coated in this dark, in this dark aura or whatever. Apparently, it made him. Whatever this thing was called, which he remembered it was called Armament Hockey, he wanted to learn about it. However, he needed to go ahead and start training with them more. Sakura, seeing Naruto off, 
was actually, you know, thinking in her mind, like, what's up with Naruto? He would usually always ask me out on a date. Huh, I guess that finally meant he didn't have a chance against me. <laughs> Why am I feeling so sad about it? Sakura was wondering about this stuff. Uh, she just shrugged it off, thinking that, you know, it, he'll probably just come back after a couple of days when she stops acting like a so-called baka. And she goes ahead and leaves. Time skip to the next day. Now, Naruto, for throughout most of yesterday, was focusing on how he used uh, armor and hockey. And he's not going to lie, it was much more difficult. Considering the fact that he didn't have most opponents to fight, he had to go to an area known as the Forest of Death yesterday, which caused him to encounter a unique woman. Flashback. Naruto was now, you know, walking into the Forest of Death. He sees all the signs and everything, but just ignore them, considering the fact that whatever is in there that could possibly try to kill him, he won't go down without a fight, and he will be the one to win. However, just before he goes, he, he instantly gets a vision, dodging it, dodging a kuna that was heading for him as if it was nothing. I can see you dare, you can come out now. At this, a woman would then jump down, as she would have a, you know, purple hair, and she would have a trench coat as as, as if it was just a regular t-shirt, t while also wearing a fishnet. At this, Naruto could already tell that this woman had no care about personal space or stuff like that. She would, she just, she just had the aura of a psycho. Hmm. Um, wow, I was just surprised that someone, a kid like you, is actually came here. So can I ask, what the heck are you doing in my home? She would ask. However, uh, Naruto did not even, tr you know, even save her a glance. He goes ahead and speaks. Well, I came here to train. This is the force of death, right? So I just came here to train, of course. At this, Anko just can't do nothing but smile. As she goes ahead and vanishes. This would cause Naruto's eyes to widen. As he goes ahead and gets already knows what's happening. As he pulls out a kunai from his pouch. And goes ahead and turns around at, it, at a fast pace. Putting it next to the woman's that's now behind his neck. Hmm, you're fast, said the woman. At this, she would actually have a kunai directly at Naruto's neck. With him already having a kunai at her neck as well. I'm not fast. I can react fast. That's the only thing. At this, uncle actually just chuckles. Hmm, I like you. Oh, well, brat. I could honestly see this, but let me just tell you this. Number one, don't do too much damage to this place. This place is for my home. Number two, don't get killed. Hmm, I guess that's all for me. However, another thing, uh, don't be expecting me to go ahead and train you, alright, kid? She would say this. However, Naruto doesn't really say anything as he goes ahead and talks back. Well, of course, I'm not going to go ahead and ask you to train. Why would I? I don't even know you. At this, Anko will get her tears. She then says, hey, I have, yeah, if I have you know, I am part of the, I'm actually one of the most famous people here. I am the one and only sexy and single Anko Mirarashi, she would say, with full-blown confidence. Naruto would just give her the deadpan stare. Okay, I'm Naruto Izumaki. Nice to meet you. At this, she just, you know, slumps down. And she just glares at him. Like you. <sighs> Whatever. See you later, brat, she would say. And she goes off to get some dongo. And she ran out things of that kid were to die in the forest. It's not her fault. She did give him a warning, she guessed. Well, not a really good warning, but still. However, she could already tell that kid is going to survive in there. But he was able to dodge her kunai like it was nothing and actually was able to counter her attack. She could tell that that kid is going to survive in there. So throughout the entire to the entire day of yesterday, Naruto was inside that forest, training and fighting against monsters, learning how to do hockey. Now we'd end the flashback. Naruto would actually go ahead, now be sitting in front of his bed, trying to channel chakra into his fist. Well, not chakra, but trying to channel, you know, trying to act the arm in hockey. As he goes ahead and concentrate as hard as he can until he finally feels the feeling again. All right, continue, continue. As he goes ahead and opens his eyes, he will see that his fist would now cover in this, you know, dark, you know, not this dark, like a black, and like his fist was now, you know, completely black. As he then realized that he did it. He did the armament hockey. He goes ahead and turns to a wall that's in front of his room, but actually, and was actually about to punch it, however, he stops that way, thinking, actually, this could do a lot of damage, and I don't want to destroy this room. As he could already see the, fu the future consequences with this action, or he could tell that as soon as he hits that thing, 
that entire wall is just gone and he's gonna have to go ahead and deal with the consequences especially with the landlord who was also a total d-hole so with that naruto will go ahead and pack up his gear and stuff get dressed and go off and and you know go off to the training ground he actually did a breakfast considering the fact he was there was no way in hell he was not gonna do that and besides, he could already tell that, you know, that was just a bluff that Kakashi set it up. Now, when he's on his way over there, he could already tell the incoming stuff that was going to happen. One being Sakura going ahead, going up in his face, declaring, you know, oh, why are you so late and everything. Sasuke ignoring him and Kakashi appearing late. So he didn't really care about that. So instead, he just went ahead and vanished in a body flaker and appeared on a tree next to his teammates where he sees sakura going back and forth sort of whispering however at the same time not really saying how her how that naruto baka and kakashi sensei are really late and that she's gonna give them a bruising however naruto just ignored her as he goes ahead and closes his eye trying to get a couple of shot eye right before the test time skip a couple of minutes now after a couple of minutes naruto would open his eyes Already can tell who's coming as he jumps down from the tree, scaring Sakura and heck, even Sasuke, who actually was actually surprised how he regained his composure, realizing who it was. Naruto, where were you this entire time? Said Sakura, as she was going, she was about to go ahead and hit him on the head, only for Kakashi to appear, as saying hello to his little cute Genny. Hello, said Kakashi, at the end as if he was not an a few, I think of not even an hour late. You're late, said Sakura. However, Kakashi just gave her a dead, a, you know, a, a look, a sheepish, a sheepish look. <laughs> Sorry, I was lost on the on the path of life. However, before he even got a chance to say that, Naruto was the one that said it. You were lost on the path of life. We get it. Now, come on, let's go. At this, both of the teammates will look at him confused. However, Kakashi was just surprised. I was gonna say that. He would say with a sad expression, a fake one, of course, but still. However, inside he's smart, he's like, how did he know I was going to say that? Hmm. It was not, this is not the first time he went ahead and predicted what I was going to say. Maybe he's just a good guesser. Hmm. Just what the heck are you hiding? Hmm. I guess I could keep an eye on him even more than I need to. Considering the fact, this is not the second, this is not the first time that Naruto has caught him lacking. Or actually, this is not the first time that Naruto has, you know, already knew what he was going to say before he even said it. So... Yeah, he had to keep a good eye on Naruto. Now, Kakashi would go ahead and pull out two bells, striving them to his waist. As he goes ahead and declares that the bell test, and that they had to go ahead and take the two's bell from them. And that whoever doesn't get a bell will be sent back to the academy immediately. At this, we both of the members of Team Sailor would then yell gulp. However, Naruto was actually, you know, trying to think of this in his mind. Well, I did study yesterday, and plus, I also went to the force of death so i think i could obviously tell this is a bluff besides if he was really gonna send this back well who's gonna stop him he could he could literally fail us right now and besides a team or only well only three yeah i don't believe that he obviously knew this test was to work together however there was no way he was gonna work with sasuke and sakura especially when these two are the definition of arrogant and it's just plain old stupid. Although he, although, although, you know, they would hate to, um, although he would, you know, some people would hate to admit it, like, it's day untrue. Like, Sasuke was just way too arrogant. And Sakura, no matter how smart she is, she sometimes is stupid, all right? But hey, happens to the rest of us. Now, at this, Kakashi would go ahead and begin to speak. All right, ready, my cute lady? Ready, my cute little getting? Let's get, let's begin, said Kakashi. Now this is where my end the what if the this part for today. Hope you guys do enjoy. I am personally enjoying this what if, and I hope you guys will come back for the next part. But either way, besides that, it is great Zage, and I am out. Peace.